Hey, what is up, YouTube? This is Fortress Striker. And, well, today, uh, as you may notice, tonight will be a very special episode of TNA where we're going to see Matt Hardy finally get the big one where he's going to be in a full Metal Mayhem match that's basically, basically uh, Metal mat, uh, Weapons, well, mostly a TLC match in TNA for EC3's TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Now, I want to actually... Mentioned that about a week ago, I did mention an update to videos I'm going to be doing. So, I actually want to talk about Matt Hardy today. So, this is a special Matt Hardy episode. So, in honor of Matt Hardy getting his shot at the title before 9 o'clock or later on, which is basically 10.30, uh, I want to actually talk about Matt Hardy. And what this story is going to be about is actually what happened about 10 years ago for the making. Now, um, in this episode I'm going to be talking about, I uh, will be talking about that back in the day, in, uh, about 10 years ago, there was a whole love triangle between Matt Hardy, Adam uh, Copeland, I guess, I don't know what his name, aka Edge, and Amy, whatever, which is Lita. So yes, the whole original Matt, Edge, Lita love triangle that actually became one of the biggest contra controversies of all time. In uh, not only just wrestling, but also as well as the WWE. So, for those who don't know the story, if you're ready to hear it, alright, I'll listen. So, this story goes back, but then in, t in 2005, but as basically back in the 99, Matt and Edge actually got to be friends, as well as with Jeff Hardy and Christian, and later on we had the Dudleys, and they became one of the biggest rivals of tag team in wrestling history, but they were also good friends, and they know each other for about five to six years, or so, for as long as uh, the Hardys and Edge and Christian have been in the round. But mainly what I want to talk about is Matt and Edge, as we all know that Christian during the time, later on, moved to TNA, as well as Jeff Hardy was in D TNA, and uh, the Dudleys were there, so all we had, the WWE had, only had left was Matt Hardy, Lita, and Edge. And Matt and Lita's love were actually for real. Matt Hardy was actually in love with Lita himself because the fact, that actually, they uh, when they were doing a stable thing together, they actually, well, fell in love with each other, and, they, and Matt Hardy had feelings for it. However, unfortunately, during 2005, Matt Hardy actually mentioned in one of his old DVDs of the Matt and Jeff story, uh, that in his disc... He actually mentioned that he was actually thirsty one night when he was sleeping and Lita was around with him. Uh, he went to go get a drink of water. He notices the phone and there's a text message. It says from Adam, a.k.a. Edge, and saying that I, that he misses her and he's been wanting to talk to her for a while. And then he's been suspicious about what's been going on lately. And unfortunately, as a result, Matt Hardy later on found out that Lita was cheating on him. And because of that, Matt Hardy was very ferociously not pissed and disappointed. So later on, he actually WWE actually found out the whole thing was going on. So they literally, and I believe literally, fired Matt Hardy because they were fear of the fact that when Matt Hardy found out he was going to be beating the crap out of Edge, there was going to be a torment fight, and they couldn't handle him. So they immediately fired Matt Hardy. This actually took a lot out of Matt Hardy now. This actually cost him everything. Not only just for the love, but it also cost him his job. You have no idea how hard it was for Matt Hardy to lose that. All because they were fearing the fight. Well, they were right about that because actually when Matt Hardy after was fired, uh, Edge was actually on his way to the ring with Lita, but out of nowhere came and attacked Edge and uh, they actually kept fighting over to the ring. This was actually not fake, ladies and gentlemen, because actually for those who actually think wrestling's fake, there actually are backstories that really causes a lot and we were not. And this is not just wrestling, this is actually a legitimate fight. And, uh, well, Edge has to fight back because he has to defend himself. Lita was scared to say, don't fight back, but Matt Hardy couldn't take it. He attacked him, he got pissed, he got a microphone, and he said, fuck the WWE, well, screw the WWE, actually, because uh, he's pissed about because he got fired, it cost him everything. So later on, actually, uh, the company decided to rehire Matt Hardy, but they decided to use their fights as a rivalry. But they had to basically tell Matt, you have to hold back just a little, as much as you can. Because if they took it to the next level, they're afraid that Matt could actually end up killing Edge. And, well, we don't want to do that. But they decided to let Matt actually have his chance. Because it's wrestling. We want to see wrestling. They want to see this whole segment. So later on, Matt and uh, Edge actually got their fight. Their first fight got to end up back in SummerSlam in 05, which Edge had the advantage. However... A month later, Matt Hardy wanted a rematch, 
and wanted to get back at Edge. So they fought each other in a steel cage match, which by far was like one of the best matches I've ever seen. It actually took a lot. Uh, during the time as well, for those who don't know, Edge was actually the Money in the Bank winner, who was the first, and still held the briefcase till January. But that's for another story. Anyway, so we have seen the, one of the greatest matches. It was actually shown in the DVD. Uh, Matt and Edge fought the crap out of each other. They were busted open. They were brutally killing each other in that match. Lita even interfered to stop Matt because she was with Edge. So later on, Matt Hardy decided to basically do whatever, and Lita wanted to take him out, but unfortunately, Matt Hardy got revenge on Lita, because she broke his heart, no, bitch had it coming, and in the end of the match, Matt Hardy goes all the way to the top of the cage, and does his all-time top row finisher, or should we say cage row finisher, unfortunately, that he does a huge giant leg drop, literally, he couldn't actually end up killing Edge, because the leg drop on the neck could actually suffocate him, and it could barely... Killed the poor bastard. But Edge survived, but he had to wrestle for another day. And so basically, Matt Hardy was victorious in match, but the rivalry continued off. They also had a street fight brutally up in Monday Night Raw, and end up actually with uh, Matt Hardy's move, as you know, kind of like kind of like a rock bottom, but instead, like, kind of like side to side. Um, I, don't, I don't know how to call it. I always forget the names. I apologize for that. Uh, they're doing it right off the stage, injuring both wrestlers, and they couldn't do anything. So the WWE actually decided one last time to end the rivalry, to end this feud. And so they decided to have a cage match, the, which the winner will win Edge's Money in the Bank briefcase. Uh, and if Matt Hardy, and basically the loser, of course, will have to just go to SmackDown, or Matt Hardy had to go to SmackDown. So... Basically, Matt Hardy wins, he gets the briefcase, ends the rivalry. Edge wins, he retains the briefcase, and then later on, goes and moves to SmackDown, so they end this feud. Uh, and we all know who wins, because, as I said, Edge actually got to hold the briefcase until January of 2006. So, Matt Hardy officially lost that match and had to be sent. So, it was sad to see that the rivalry came to an end that far, but, they, but unfortunately, it also cost the match trust to Edge, as well as his trust to Lita. So, he later on never ever got to be with them again and never got to be near them and it's really a tough time for matt but later on of course with his brother coming back the year after things were starting to change up for both of them now as well as the time now they became world tag team champions for a seventh time uh matt hardy later on got to be singles champion he got to be u.s champion he later on got to be heavyweight champion for ecw um, with his brother as well since they both became champ world champions they lost their belts the same night but only mainly because matt cost him, you know, Roy Rumble, because the whole rivalry thing, which was pretty good, was one of the great matches to see at WrestleMania, uh, same thing for you, but, you know, Matt and Ed, uh, Jeff's bro um, brotherly love, they love each other, they're, they're nothing without each other, and then later on, they moved on to TNA, uh, Matt Hardy later on left, and they went to Ring of Honor, came back, uh, years later, here we go, about later this year, they got to grow up again, became the Hardy Boys, and became TNA Tag Team Champions for the first time, and finally became a total of eight-time champions for the first time in about eight years. And, uh, of course, you all know Jeff Hardy injured himself to a motocross, so it cost him the tag team belts. But now, Jeff Hardy returned about a week ago, and uh, came up with the help with the idea. So now, Matt Hardy actually announced, as for those who haven't seen the episode, because you know, I hope you get ready, spoiler alert, uh, Matt Hardy decided to have the match, which is Full Metal Mayhem, with no interferences, which I'm glad because I'm getting sick and tired of that Bros Clay crap, or Tyrese, or whatever you want to call him, interfering. So I want to fair fight, because EC3 has been really a pain in pain in ass. I really don't like the guy at all. So anyway, guys, get ready for tonight. I hope you vote for Matt Hardy, because he's my top pick and the reason why as well is because Matt Hardy deserves to get the big picture he also deserves to be part of the list with his brother Jeff so they both get to have the belts in their line which is TNA heavyweight title and tag team title uh, both men deserve it they've been great competitors Matt Hardy was actually a great singles skater after Jeff left uh, back in WWE you know twice uh, Matt Hardy working in TNA with his brother was fun so I hope you guys enjoy this video about me talking about Matt Hardy and the storyline back from 10 years since now he's it's ten years later, he's married to Rebby Sky. He's now a father to his with her newborn son, Maxwell Hardy. Uh, hope he does well for his son. So give this video a like for Matt Hardy. Comment what you guys think about what was your favorite moments of Matt Hardy's life and what was the biggest things that you find that were unbelievable in his career or his lifestyle. And uh, hope you guys are fans of him. Share this to your friends. Subscribe if you're new. Like my Facebook page. And this is Fortress Striker signing off.